You know, regardless of whether a lot of people are traveling today, or at least are trying to, 12.6 million passengers were expected at airports across the country this weekend. That's the busiest Labor Day since before the pandemic. Omar Villafranca is at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport this morning. Omar, good morning. Good morning. Some folks are starting to check in for their early morning flights here at DFW. It's expected to be the fourth busiest airport in the whole system. More than half a million people are expected to pass through here just today. Now, the other busy airports today, Atlanta's Hartsfield, Jackson, Denver International, and LAX in Los Angeles. Good news, though, we haven't seen many cancellations so far this morning. But if you do experience a little travel misery, the Transportation Department is launching a new online dashboard to help passengers compare airline compensation policies for delayed or canceled flights. Now, this dashboard comes after a summer full of COVID-related staffing shortages and severe weather that caused cancellations and delays at airports across the country. Now, for those ending their summer with a road trip, drivers will likely see some welcome relief at the gas pump. National average for a gallon of gas, 370 according to AAA that's down 82 cents from 460 the Friday before Memorial Day weekend and if you are going to be hitting the road experts say you should maybe leave early so you can avoid traffic and avoid burning money while idling in traffic and Nikki I know your dad experienced a little bit of travel delays <laughs> hopefully everything went well for him yes he was stuck right there where you are in Dallas last night Omar thank you